the biggest question today of what does it mean to be human and why do I exist? I believe the culture today is the result of terrible and inferior answers to that question. Here are a few verses. You can turn there. I'm going to read them quickly. Here are a few verses which reveal the how, the what, and why of the human being. Remember, these are just a few. Genesis 1.27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. He created them. Luke 12, 7, indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Jeremiah 1, 5, God tells Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, for we are God's handiwork or, master, or master, uh, masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good work, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Here's a few questions I would love for you to write down if you're taking notes to put them in your phone. The way of Jesus, here's some questions to ask yourself as we engage. Is there a goal of redemption? In everything that we do in today's moment, is there a goal or ambition for redemption? Is there room for apologies and forgiveness? Because when you're confronted with something that you didn't realize you were doing, then guess what's necessary? Apologies and forgiveness, again, which what? Has a redemptive nature about it. Is there a goal of restoration? Not just being forgiven, but is there a goal of restoration in everything that we do and how we interact with the culture and how we're playing in this game we're currently in? Third question, is the journey from point A to point B have a redemptive nature about it? This is crucial. Sometimes you look at the point B and say, that's it. You have to understand, to get to point B, there has to be tons of grace, tons of redemption, tons of forgiveness, tons of hope, tons of love and compassion to get to point B. So that's the question. Any process that we engage with, does it have a redemptive nature about it as we move forward? 